Hi, my name is Daniel Omoloba, aka Biola Speaks, and I'm privileged to be a top poet on Pen Speak 2019. It's been a wonderful experience for me. So, first of all, I would um, start by giving a rundown of my experience so far on the tour. Well, as the name implies, it's a tour, so it means obviously we have to travel from place to place and all of that. So, for me, it's been one very amazing adventure of seeing new places, meeting new people, and getting to experience, you know, relating with new um, new ideas, new systems, new traditions, and it has been an adventure of learning primarily for me. The truth is, learning never ends. So for me, it's purely an adventure, or it has been an adventure of learning getting to know new stuff and getting to know new things, getting to listen to other poets, getting to, you know, sharpen my skills. Like like the Bible said, iron sharpened iron, so the countenance of a man, of a friend, sharpens that of the other. So it has been a learning process where my skills have been sharpened right now. If you put my skills on your hand, it might just cut you because it's very sharp right now because I've been able to learn so much, so much within this, within this time. Excuse me, men and brethren, citizens of heaven, residents on earth. This is a public service announcement. An announcement of service publicly, so I beseech thee to listen and take note because these are thoughts of war. The title of my piece is called Second Person Singular and it centers on the issue of suicide um we know that recently we've had several cases of suicide somebody gets frustrated and tired of life and then the next thing he feels or he or she feels is okay let me just end my life and so my suffering shall end suicide is not the way the, the increasing cases of suicide should not be we should appreciate life and no matter what we go through in life it makes us stronger it doesn't make us weaker or it's not supposed to break us it's supposed to make us stronger so we are not necessarily you know going through hard times in court we are going through a training a training process you know we're going through a time where our capacity is built nobody grows in comfort obviously but it's like life itself is not a fair ground we know but at the same time we are supposed to be military about life talk to somebody relate with somebody go for counseling bear your mind out to your friends let them encourage you let us encourage ourselves please and please i came to pen speak to address the issue of suicide and i pray and i hope that the message leaves the shores of nigeria to all other parts of the world the us the uk and let the world know that suicide is not the way there is more to life so appreciate life and appreciate the gift of life because it is a very rare gift let us enjoy our time on earth let us utilize the privilege and the opportunities given to us as the lord live it for suicide it's zero over ten and for us it's ten over ten simply because suicide has failed concerning your life and destiny therefore May his wicked soul unrest in perfect pieces. Amen. We live in a world that is characterized by a lot of hypocrisy. We are in an age where people study the Bible based on convenience or the path that suits them. And then the path that addresses major weaknesses or issues that they go through, they put aside. It's necessary for us to understand that being a poet, being a Christian, primarily we are all supposed to follow the dictates of the Bible. So it's, it's, it's necessary and very important that we avoid living a double-faced life. I, I, I like it when people are straightforward. This is who you are. Let's know this is who you are. You don't have to fake being someone else. Like, why die a photocopy when you were made an original? You were made in the image and the likeness of God. So you don't have to fine tune your life by another man's pattern or standard. The word of God is our standard. So whatever you are doing, you don't have to check with any man, okay, what, I, what I'm doing, is it right? Is it not right? No. You just need to be sure that 
as long as what you're doing is in conformity with the dictates of God's word and the standard he has written and outlined in the Bible, then you should be okay, then I'm okay. So you don't really need to fall victim to peer pressure or some form of societal influence. No, please, let's live, kill hypocrisy, be yourself. You don't have to talk like someone else. You don't have to think like someone else. You don't have to. You don't have to walk like someone else. You don't have to do things like someone else. Do things like you. Talk like you. Think like you. Walk like you. Move like you. Operate like you. Appreciate your uniqueness. Please kill the mindset that I have to be like someone to be better. So walk with wisdom. Appreciate your uniqueness and follow your plan in the originality that God has used to design you and you'll be fine through it all. So be encouraged once again. My name is Daniel Omalova, aka Bula Speaks. God bless you.